Making a line of best fit using a graphing calculator. Linear regression. Use this data to create a line of best fit using the graphing calculator. Here we have a virtual graphing calculator so the kids can visualize what is going on and follow each step. First we would have to enter our data into a table. So we hit stat and we select one edit. And to enter this data, we would first clear out data that's there. And by doing that, we highlight each of the headings and hit enter, clear and enter. So entering our first set of data, three, enter, four, enter, and we continue until we have all the data entered into the first column. Then we'd go to the second column and we'd enter all that data. Make sure you check what you're entering so you do not make errors. And there we've entered everything. Now what we need to do is actually plot this data onto a grid. And I'm going to turn to the next page here and I'll show you that I'm recording the steps as I go. I can capture these screens by right clicking, taking a screenshot and it's LCD only black and white. And that's what I've been copying and pasting here. Let's bring my calculator back. So here this screen's here. We had gone to edit, we selected one and we entered all our data. Now we need to go to the stat plot screen which is right above here, stat plot, second, y equals, and we need to make sure plot two and three are off because we're not using them. We're going to use plot one. So we hit enter on plot one. And in here we want to make sure our screen matches this. We want dots, we want list one and list two to be our x axis and our y axis, and any of these symbols will work for our graph. So once we know that's okay, we would go to the graph button right here and hit graph. And unfortunately, my linear regression's in there already, and I'm going to take that out. We would have to go to y equals and delete any values that were in here. We'd hit clear. So sorry, we'll go back to that. And there we have our stat plot. All our statistics are plotted. So going here, we can see I've copied all of those. We'll go to the next page, and we're going to compute and graph the linear regression. So to do that, what we will do, we will go to stat and we'll cursor over to calculate. And we're going to look through all of our selections and number, oops, selection four is linear regression in slope y-intercept form. So we select that and in here we need to tell it where it's going to find its data from. So we put our x values in list one and our y values in list two. So we're going to demonstrate that. We're going to hit second L1, which is here, comma, second L2. That's going to give us our equation, but we also want to see it displayed graphically. So we're going to hit comma, and this time we're going to go and say where to put our vari variables. And we're going to go to our Y variables, and we're going to put it in a function. And we can put it in the very first one and we hit enter. So what this is telling us is going to do linear regression on the data that's in list one and list two and it's going to put our equation in y1. And if we hit enter after that, there's all our information. So it's put it in y equals slope x intercept form. Our slope is negative 5.05, etc. And our y intercept is 89.605, etc. The r squared and the r values are for a later course, and it talks about how strong our line of best fit is. At this point, we could now go hit graph again, and we will see linear regression in the making. And there you have it. This data will be stored in the calculators if I need to turn on the individual calculators the students have to check their work. So at this point, the students would be asked to turn off their calculators, and when I go back and turn it on, it's all there, and I can see how they did. Anyways, there is a lesson using the graphing calculators regarding linear regression.